Question five. During the 2008 to 2012 period, South Africa recorded an average growth rate of just over 2%, largely due to the global economic recession. So basically it didn't grow too much because globally economies were not doing well. Gauteng, KwaZulu-Natal and the Western Cape collectively contributed a significant proportion to the country's growth. That's expected because those are places with um, a lot of sort of industry, um, a lot of people, etc. Okay, the graph below shows the contribution of these two provinces towards the different sectors. Okay, so here's the graph. Here's percent, here's the different sectors, and here are, is the key. Okay, one thing if you are struggling, go actually color in the different um, lines so that you know which one refers to each. Here what's quite nice is they've made it quite clear, right? So this one here is clearly Gauteng. Okay, this one here is clearly Western Cape. And this one over here is KZN. Okay, if you want to use color, also completely fine. Okay, let's look at the questions. So 5.1.1 says, write down the province that contributed the most to the wholesale sector. Okay, so here's wholesale. We're going to track up here. So it's going to be this line here. The dot, dot, dot line is the Western Cape. And we are A for away. Okay, so you see, these sort of questions not too bad, but you just need to make sure that you are understanding what is being asked and you are reading information correctly okay let's look at the next question 5.1.2 says the total amount contributed by the three provinces to agriculture was 8.3 billion determine which part of this amount western cape contributed okay so we're looking at agriculture so we're looking over here so it's saying all these percentages added up when we converted it into rands is 8.3 billion of that 8.3 billion, how much of that was contributed by the Western Cape? So firstly, let's figure out how big these, these percentages are. You can see that these two lines here at the top, right? So that's the Western Cape and KZN. Both of those are 4%. Okay. So then Gauteng looks like it's kind of 3%. Okay. So what we're going to say here is the total amount that we have there is we have 4% for the Western Cape. We have 4% for... Um, KZN, and then we have 3%, right, to Gauteng, which kind of makes sense because Gauteng is not really known for its farms, okay, so how, what percentage in total do we have, well, 4 plus 4 plus 3 is 11%, if you can't do that in your head, you can put in your calculator, 11%, so saying that 11%, if I convert it to money, is 8300 um, um, billion, right, so let's wait, wait, I'm just going to say 8.3 billion, okay, I'm just going to write it like that. Okay, not a problem. Okay, if you want to write this out, remember, billion has a lot of zeros. So you can write it like this. I just didn't want to write it out, even though I wrote it out now, just to show you the difference. Remember, um, so billion, doesn't, it has nine zeros, right? But the reason it has eight zeros here is because there's a point after the, de there's a number after the decimal. So just be careful there, so that you can convert into that. So now it says, what... Determine which part of the of this amount Western Cape contributed. So basically, we want to say, well, 11% equals this, okay? So we want to say, of this 11%, actually 4% of the 11%, so if, as a fraction, for the 11, right? That was the Western Cape, and we're going to times it by this big number, okay? You can keep it as 8.3 billion, right? But then in your answer, you have to write billion. So up to you how you want to do it, Okay. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put it in. So I'm saying of the 11%, 4% is Western Cape. And what is that as a proportion of the money? Okay. So I'm going to say that. And then I'm going to say 8, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wonderful. And my answer is this. So of my 8.3 billion, 3018118. One eight, one eight, one eight, right? That is how much, right? In rand, obviously, right? Because we're talking about South Africa. That is how much the Western Cape contributed. Okay, not a difficult question, but one you have to think through in quite a bit of detail. Okay, so we added up that eleven percent. We said four of that eleven percent is the Western Cape, and we went from there. Okay, let's now go on to the next question. Five point one point three. It says, identify the sector in which KwaZulu-Natal made a 12% contribution. Okay, so let's see 12%. There's 12%, 3%, 4%, 5%, 6%, 7%, 8%, 9%, 10%, 11%, 12%, 13%, 14%, 15%, 16%, 17%, 18%, 19%, 20%, 21%,
There's this sitting right on there. Oh, it is KZN. Lovely. How do we know it's KZN? It matches the line. So what did it add 12% in? Transport. Okay. So it's just reading off the graph. 12%, that's KZN's line. Track it down and it is transport. Okay. Then 5.1.4. Name the sector that has the largest range. Okay. Name the sector that has the largest range. What is range? Range means the difference between the maximum and the minimum. Okay, so we want the one where the difference is the biggest. Now here we can see they're close. They're close. They're close. Here, not so close. Okay, we can see that KZN, when it comes to finance, is quite a bit lower than Western Cape and Gauteng, which is to be expected, right? Because we know that a lot of our big businesses sit in Gauteng and Western Cape. So we're going to say, okay, well, the name of the sector is finance. Okay, 5.1.4, and our answer is finance. Okay, but it has the biggest difference between the maximum and the minimum. Very last question for this video. Name one province, one province, that made the most significant contribution towards the growth of most of the sectors. Okay, so saying, which one is sort of like consistently at the top? So we know that it's not KZN, okay, because KZN was not contributing much yet. So it's definitely not KZN. KZN. It's either Gauteng or Western Cape. Okay. Now, if we look here, we can see Western Cape's on top, then Gauteng. Over here, Western Cape is still above Gauteng. Here, Western Cape is still above Gauteng. Over here, Western Cape is still above Gauteng. Right? So Western Cape contributes, contributes more than Gauteng across all of these. So therefore, Western Cape is going to be the one that we answer our question with. Okay, Western Cape. And we are done, right? Again, this is all about interpreting data, being able to use it. Again, if you struggled with identifying who's who, use color, right? Use your highlighters, right? Make sure that you have highlighters with you. That's the end of this question. Let's move on to the last question of this paper.